Hi everyone, I am here today with my brand new Dolphy Dream Girl. She is a Sakura Shinguji from Sakura Taisen. And she's brand new from Volks and she was sold, I believe, in October. So the way I got her was someone had said that when they went to the Volk store in California, they still had, I believe, a few of limited girls available. So I emailed Volks, they told me they had Sakura Shinguji and a Saber Extra. So you never know, you can email them and they might have one left. And they're going to sell for the original price they sold for on the website, so not inflated like eBay prices or something, or aftermarket prices. So I'm so excited to have her. And I was actually thinking of getting Saber Extra, but she was just too adorable. So I got Sakura. So let's open her up. I already just took off like the personal information stuff. That was weird. They like double bottomed the box. Anyway, I should have opened it up to now, right? So, this is just my, that's just my order page. And now, for the main event, here is the box. Dolphy Dream, it says Cyber Age Hybrid Body. Cyber Age Hybrid Body. And then up here, it just, I'm guessing, says Sakura Taisen, Sakura Shinguji, and it says Dolphy Dream. And on the side says, all this. I'm sorry, this is the front. And then on this side it says the same as the other side, and here is the back. So let's get a good look at her front. She's so adorable and I cannot believe I have her. And there's a little warning that says, when putting on the wig, don't grasp or pull her ponytail because it's very delicate and can fall off. Or, Something, and as you guys all should know, I am like the ponytail slash pigtail ruiner. So let's hope I don't ruin her wig. Um, and they don't offer any like um, replacements or anything. So if I ruin it, my fault. First, I'm gonna pull out the back, maybe. So here is her wig. And I'll open her and show you guys and make her up. In here, I'm guessing, is going to be her sword, and I'll open that in a little bit. And then here is her outfit and shoes and gloves. And I have a whole bunch of things. This page is a printout that talks about the DDS body, which I don't have. I don't think Sakura Shinjuguji is DDS. So I don't know why they gave this to me, but whatever. Oh, it's because the Dolphy Dream 3 body is identical in construction. That makes sense. So it just tells me about how to remove everything. Cool. And then this is really cool. I guess it's a little Dolphy Dream guide. So on top, it just had a little pamphlet with the picture of her on it, and on the back it has another picture, and it just labels everything that she comes with. So that's cool. And then here it says Dolphy Dream Concept Note version 2. And it's cute. It has like a whole bunch of things in it, and it tells you about, I guess, a lot of the stuff that they offer. So that's cool. And nice, I'll look through that later. So now let's get my doll out of here. Here she is, my beautiful, beautiful Dolphy Dream. I am so super excited. Can you see that? Let's see. Ooh, she moves around like a dream. Okay, so I'm going to try and be careful with her because I don't know, I don't remember if she is one of the girls that um, has the cracking issues or if she was fixed and she's like the redone version of the Delphi Dream 3, but she's so cute. And she does have the small bust as you guys can see and the body is beautiful and I'm going to do a review eventually on it. And it's really tight, it's nice. My other Dolphy Dream definitely didn't pose 
quite so dreamlike, and her face is just beautiful, and I love her eyes. I'm probably gonna change them out someday, but for now, we'll keep them. Can you guys see her eyes and her face? She's beautiful, and she's super adorable. I think that's kind of my style, like the adorable kind of style. Let's see if she can stand. Yay! She stands no problem, that's awesome. And she does lots of jawsome poses because she's just super fun and awesome. And I'm excited to have her! Yay! I'm gonna put her seated right there and then we're gonna open her clothes. And maybe I'll yellow dress her, perhaps. So here is, I don't know the actual name for it, but it's like the bottom skirt type part. I don't think it's actually a skirt though. So there's the bottom. This part is, looks like underwear, which is pretty important. And she has little socks. Can't get these on right, but the underwear was impossible to get on her and it ripped a little bit, but I don't really care about the underwear. But I hate the underwear, it's hard to get on. Anyway. Next, I guess I can put on her sock. Um, well, there's her head cap, you can see, and there's inside her head. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a belt part, maybe. And this is the top part, I do believe. That's cute. These are cute little shoes. This part goes... Oh, you know what? This is actually the belt. This is the sword cover, I believe. And this is her hair bow, which is super adorable, and I can't wait to have that on. And here are her little gloves. Those are cute. So what to do first? First, I guess, you put on the top and then it looks like it tucks into the pants. And then this goes on like that. And that snaps on like that. So now her top is on. Then, we're going to put this bottom part on. So maybe like to there. And then we'll put on the belt part. So that's how she looks in that. We can pop her shoes on. Sorry, the phone rang, but here she is in most of her outfit. Put on the gloves. And they have a little hook feature. So it makes it easy just to put that on. Okay, so now she has her outfit on, and she has her gloves on, and she's looking pretty awesome. 
and she needs her wig and her sword. So I'll do the wig first, and then we'll do the sword last. It looks a little purple, actually, in person. On the website, the, her wig looks more black to me. I didn't know she'd have like kind of purpley hair going on. I like it. It's like black, but it looks definitely purple. It has a purple tint to it, especially in the light. Can you guys see that? That's like kind of purple. So I'm hoping this doesn't stain her head, but I'm sure it will. So I'm not going to be able to keep it on that long. But I do have a um, wig cap coming as well from Cool Cat. So hopefully that works. Otherwise, I do actually have one, but I could never get it to fit any of my girls. So, I don't know, maybe it'll work on her. Her wig looks a little off-center to me, so I don't know if, like, they made it off-center or if I'm just putting it on bad. But, there she is, it's on pretty well. And I will be giving her more wigs anyway eventually, so it's like, whatever. And, I actually might already have one that will work for here. And then to do this, I guess it just hooks around her ponytail. Hey, she can hold the sword, that's pretty cool. Yay, she's just a, like a little sword fighting machine. I've actually never seen Sakura Tyson or Sakura Wars, so if everyone has, tell me what it's about. I read a description online, I was gonna watch it, but I didn't get around to that. because I'm watching sword art online right now, and it's amazing, and now, I might have to get the new Dolphy Dream coming out sooner, so we'll see about that, because I really like the show, but I love this girl, and I have a few things coming for her. I have a new set of hands for her, because she came with sword holding hands, so I got her closed fisted hands, but like the loosely ones, so cute. I got her school uniform, and remover, so I can take out the eyes and change it, and a stand. So that should be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about her, please let me know. And I absolutely love her. And I'm so excited to have her. And I hope you guys enjoy. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.